Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for another video this week. We are doing something a little bit different that I've never done on this channel, and I'm gonna be doing a chatty get ready with me where I'm going to be applying some makeup and updating you with college and how my semester turned out, how my thesis turned out, and basically where my head is at for graduate school and my plans for how I'm preparing to apply to graduate school in the fall. First of all, I have a really delicious um, latte, iced latte, that I got at my favorite coffee shop. And as we all know, we are in a pandemic and things are slowly starting to open up in California. However, I do not plan on being out that much. Just getting some iced coffee every now and then is basically the only thing that I do. And I wear a mask and I hand sanitize the entire time. I thought this would be a fun video um, because I have not spent a lot of time on this channel chatting about makeup, but I really like makeup and it's really fun to play with. I want to spend some time playing with makeup with y'all and updating you with where I'm at in college, how things are going. Um, so the original plan is that I was going to film a video of me opening my grades from this semester and I had it all planned out. So basically, it's kind of a long story, but I'll try to keep it as short as I can. Unofficial transcripts on the portal, it has a date which it says that grades come out and so grades were supposed to come out Tuesday, May 26th, which was just yesterday. And so I had it all planned like, okay, I'm gonna wait until May 26th and I'm gonna have my camera ready and I'm gonna film it. Well, I don't remember what day it was. I wanna say it was last Friday. Yeah, I wanna say it was last Friday. And basically, again, long story short, there is a way for you to see what your GPA was from the past semester before it shows the grades because the professors have to submit the grades well in advance before they're actually visible on the portal. And there's basically a trick in one of the parts of the portal where you can see what your GPA was which doesn't tell you exactly what your grades are, but if you calculate like GPA, then you can figure out what each grade was. So I saw my GPA from the last semester and I was really excited. And then I don't know what compelled me, but I was like, wait, what if they're like out? And I checked and they were out, so I saw my grades. Though I didn't get to show you, I'm really, really excited about the way they turned out. But anyways, let's get into some makeup things before I tell you what my grades were. So I'm gonna build the suspense for you, okay? Because even though I didn't get to film my reaction, I'm gonna give you something to make you wait. So the first thing that I wanted to tell y'all is I'm suffering from a bout of allergies again. And that causes my skin to get really dry. And it's really dry around my eyes, especially because that's where I break out with my allergies. So I'm not going to be doing anything special for my eyes other than mascara. Even though I really want to and eyes are like the funnest part to play with, um, I cannot because they are really dry. So I first go in with a Glossier moisturizer just to moisturize my whole face and I already did this. And I'm doing it a lot, especially because of my dry skin right now. But now I'm gonna go in with this Born This Way um, concealer by Too Faced. And I'm not gonna go on my eyelids because it's really dry, but I'm just gonna get like some of the blemishes and some other parts of my face. Anyways, okay, back to my grades. So, um, so I was, as I was checking them with my mom and my uncle was there too, I was so happy 
because for the first time ever, y'all, the first time ever, I'm telling you, since I was in middle school, I've been getting grades pretty much since I was in middle school, I would say. Um, since I was in middle school, for the first time, I got straight A's. Yes, oh my God, literally, I can't even tell you how many times I've tried <laughs> to achieve that and have been unsuccessful, but yeah, I got straight A's and I was literally just over the moon and still to this very moment, I'm so happy and excited because I definitely earned them even though we're in a pandemic. I was working my ass off before and after the pandemic. And as we all, college students meaning, are experiencing, this is a particularly difficult semester because we all got moved online in the middle of the semester, which none of us were planning for. I don't know anybody who was planning for that. And now I'm going in with my Cheekbone Beauty eyebrow gel to apply to my sad dry eyebrows um anyways so those are my grades i'm very proud of them um okay and i said i got straight a's but i didn't exactly get straight a's i got three a's and an a minus <laughs> which to me is still straight a's because an a minus is an a okay folks it just is um and it raised my GPA, and I'm very, very, very happy about that. The other reason why this was a particularly difficult semester, before I get into that, I'm going to be putting this on my cheeks. And it is from um, Nude Sticks, um, the Estee Lalonde. Um, collaboration. It's a nudes matte and this color is Salty Siren and it is a blush that you apply to the cheeks. Anyways, so the other reason why this was a particularly difficult semester is because I was also doing thesis. I look like a clown right now. Um, I was also doing my senior thesis and at my college you have to do a senior thesis to graduate. So I was working on senior thesis and then a global pandemic happened and all of our classes got moved online. So all of my thesis work got moved online and I wasn't even done collecting my data for my thesis. So I was already going to do it online. Um, but I was at least planning on getting some input and help from my faculty, from my readers. I was at least planning on getting that done in person. I don't know why I applied it to my upper lip. <laughs> I do that with highlight and I thought that it would look the same and it does not. Anyways, so... Yeah, so I was also working on thesis and doing five classes. So it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. But now I want to update y'all with how thesis went. As many of you know, I am a sociology major. And so my thesis was in the sociology discipline. So I did a qualitative research study and um, I made a video on my channel basically explaining how you conduct a thesis. Um, but one of the things that I didn't tell y'all is that, wait, no, I think I did tell you. But basically, it usually takes a year in total to do a sociology thesis at my college so it means that you spend the fall semester picking your topic applying to IRB 
gathering some of your data and then you enroll in the course in the spring and you write it. Well, I did none of that because I am a fall 2020 graduate and I didn't think about working on my thesis in the fall. So basically when it came time for me when I was actually in the class, I had to do all of it in one semester, <laughs> which is a lot. It was a ton of work to do. Now I'm gonna go in with the Nude Sticks um, highlight and it's just like a dual applicator kind of highlight, which I really like. So I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. So yeah, so I was doing like, like literally, I don't think I've ever had so much work to do in one semester, but I, yeah, I was just doing a lot of work this semester. And to tell you how it concluded, I ended up getting an A on my thesis. Oh my God. I'm literally so happy about that because A, I worked so hard on it. B, I kind of have been feeling like imposter syndrome, I guess, a little bit. And C, I'm really hoping that that is gonna help me in my graduate school application because I do wanna go to graduate school and it really helps if you have like a strong piece of writing and research experience. So I was so excited. Like I posted it all over social media when I got my A because I just put my heart and my soul into that writing and it's not perfect because no piece of writing ever is perfect and I definitely like want to edit it more but I think I want to save it for when I expand my research on that topic um but yeah basically to conclude though it's a topic that I'm really passionate about and to see it come into fruition and get the grade and recognition that it deserves just makes my heart so warm. So thesis went amazing. And because of this semester, I'm now qualified. Um, I'm on the track for graduating with honors. So I just need to get one more grade in my sociology coursework. And then I'll have honors in sociology and I definitely think I'm capable of getting that one grade next semester. And then I can graduate with honors and that will be just incredible because I've worked my ass off to get there. Now I'm gonna go in with my Buxom mascara and just apply some mascara. I really wish that I could do something with my eyes, but they're just so dry that I just wanna leave them alone and let them heal. Anyways, so now, um, if you don't know, I kind of already explained it, but I, oh, I am a fall 2020 graduate, which means um, I have one more semester of college left and then I'm graduating. And if you're new to my channel, hi, please subscribe. Please like this video and leave a comment down below. If you're new to this channel, then you may not be aware, but I'm very indecisive about what I wanna do with my life and what I wanna do, oh wait, let me do my bottom lashes. And what I wanna do um, postgraduate. I've had like a million different ideas and a million different interests and I can't choose. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, however, I was thinking about it today because I think about it every day. Literally, it just, it plagues my mind on the daily. And I just was asking myself like, why have I given up so easily 
on doing sociology graduate school. If you would have talked to me maybe like even just shortly a year and a half ago, then um, you might have heard me talk about sociology graduate school. Like I would talk about it with my dad and I would be like, yeah, I really want to apply for a PhD in sociology. And then I don't know what plagued me, but something was like, oh, you don't want to work in academia. So then I was like, okay, I don't want to work in academia. And then I moved away from the idea. But then like recently after I got my thesis grade back, I was like, oh my God, maybe I do have the capability to perform well in graduate school. And I think that's why I originally threw, up, threw out like, oh, I don't want to work in graduate school because something was like, it's going to be too hard and you're going to not going to be able to do it and you're not going to be able to handle it. But then I got my thesis grade back and I was like, oh, maybe I can do graduate school. And then I was th immediately thinking like, what if I do graduate school in a different area of study? <laughs> and so I was researching all those different ones but then it hit me today and I'm like, why can't I do sociology? You know, like I'm really passionate about sociology. I've really enjoyed the classes that I've taken and the coursework and I've done really well in the major. Like, why can't I do that? So that's all to say. Now I am seriously considering applying to graduate school in sociology because I have been recently thinking about going into academia and I think that I could do it. I don't know what's holding me back from saying that I'm qualified to do sociology graduate school. So anyways, okay, now I'm going in with the nude sticks from the same collection and just applying this to my lips. That looks so pretty, I've never worn this before and I love the color, it matches with the rest of my face. Um, so I'm kind of researching about sociology graduate schools and I really wanna stay in California, but I'm not opposed to other places. It's just, I've built a life in California and I don't know, like I've tried living in Boston and in other places and I think I'm just a California girl through and through. So I'm looking at schools. Um, I'm sorry to carry you alongside my antics and my antics meaning my indecisiveness with where I want to go to graduate school but I figure I figure that you know you'd care to be involved. So that's why I'm sharing. But that basically concludes this get ready with me. I think I look really cute. I wish that I didn't have dry skin, but that's okay. We can't have all the things that we want. <laughs> um, but I love how my lip color turned out. It looks really, really cute. And I think I'm going to take some selfies now, but I'm going to put my glasses on first because that will complete the look. Um, and that's basically an update with college and how everything went. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I leave all my social media link down below. And make sure that you subscribe because I it's summertime. I'm gonna be putting out more videos and you wanna make sure that you're here for the ride. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video.